Welcome back to Empowerment Nursing. I'm Ashley and I'm a nurse educator and you are tuning into our weekly application of In the Know where we make it simple. Today we are reviewing a question related to perioperative nursing care. So here's our question. I invite you to put your answer in the comment section below and then of course play the rationale. You can pause this video. So our question is this. A patient has been admitted to the hospital for surgery, surgery the following day. In preparation for surgery, the nurse is providing preoperative information to the patient. When teaching the patient about the use of an incentive spirometer, the nurse should include which of the following information in the discussion. A. Place the device in your hands and use it while you are lying down. B. Use the device by inhaling rapidly and frequently as possible. C. Place the head of the bed in an upright position while using the device. And D. Keep a loose seal between the mouthpiece and the patient's lips for a maximal benefit. Let's think about what incentive spirometry is. Incentive spirometry is that fancy device we often give to post-operative patients that gives them a visual incentive, hence why it's called incentive spirometry, to breathe in as deeply as they possibly can to get maximal lung expansion. So as they breathe in, the balls on that incentive spirometer rise up to give them a visual incentive to breathe in deeper. So it's about breathing in as much air into the lungs as possible. So which position do we breathe best in? Hunched over where our lungs are bent in half or sitting up where our lungs are fully able to inflate, right? We have maximal lung capacity. Use that information to come to the right answer. So A, place the device in your hands and use it while you're lying down. We never want people to use incentive spirometry or deep breathing and coughing, stuff like this. Optimally, they're sitting up, so A is not the right answer. B, use it by inhaling as rapidly and as frequently as possible. That's not the point. Incentive spirometer is a deep inhalation to get maximal air into the lungs. So B is incorrect. C, place the head of the bed in an upright position while using the device. That is correct, and that is our rationale to our right answer. And D, keep a loose seal between the mouthpiece, the mouthpiece and the patient's lips. That obviously wouldn't have any benefit because you have to seal your lips around that mouthpiece in order to breathe in and bring those balls up higher and see that visual incentive for deep breathing. So our correct answer then is C. So for the answer to this question and more and for all concepts simplified for your registration exam, check out our complete study package, which we've recently announced comes with a money back guarantee. Thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you next time on In The Know. Bye for now.